What's up? What's up? Yo, yo, yo! AJ Connecting the World is back and loved ones, near and far, family members, hope all of you are in the best of health and choose to be awesome, guys. And what awesome dish is AJ doing today? Okay, I have seven pieces of hot dog sliced into small pieces, ten pieces of fish ball cut into half, five tomato uh sorry five potatoes cut into small pieces like this some wandering right fish ball and hot dogs hmm wait and see and then also have veggies carrots cabbage and celery uh one carrot uh about quarter of a cabbage and five celery sticks and i have three onions garlic 10 pieces and two thumb sized ginger. All these three, you're going to grind it or pound it into a very smooth paste. And I have a beautiful yellow lemon. I have this hot, hot, hot spicy chili, which you can get from any supermarket, and five eggs. And what crazy dish is coming up? AJ connecting the world. See y'all in a few minutes. Cheers, guys. Love you all. AJ is back. Okay, I have now mixed the carrot, the cabbage, and the celery together. And I've added two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. But if you have any other vinegar, also it's fine. Uh, one uh, half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. And the other surprise addition to this. Hold on. Yes, it's this delicious beans which I got addicted to. Is fall madamas. Doesn't it look yummy delicious? Guys, yeah, you should taste it. It's really, really, really awesome. So, this is done. Put it in the fridge and chill it. And guess what I'm going to serve this with? Wait and watch. And before you chill it, another surprise element. Yes, you add yogurt. Get this yogurt that you can find in the supermarket. My favorite is normally mango, but I couldn't find mango, so I got the mixed uh, fruit. Just you pour it in. Stir it. Nice coloring, right, guys? Let's stir it. And now you can chill it. Uh, like I said, you can find many flavors. You can even use plain yogurt to this or mayonnaise. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Now for the next dish. The spicy one. Okay, guys, now to the spicy dish. First, you add in the potatoes and cook it in hot oil. Uh, about three minutes. And after three minutes, you add in the fish ball. The fish ball, you wait for it until it gets slightly bigger and brown. You will know uh, the ball, I think I've showed it in my other videos, the ball will puff up. So wait for it. Yes, can you see the balls are puffy and round? And that's when you add our hot dog to it. Stir it. See how big they are getting. Uh, another two to three minutes of uh, stirring it in hot oil. Okay, you can see now the whole thing is getting slightly brown. The hot dog is getting cooked. And this is when you add one big ladle of the chili, garlic and ginger grind together. 
two, three. Add them and stir them for just a few minutes or a few seconds. Just let once you get the aroma, then you add the next item. Oh, the chili, garlic, and the onion flavor is just wonderful. And now you add the spicy chili paste and stir it. Okay, you have to cook it until in now medium flame until the oil leaves at the side. I'll show you in a while. But meanwhile, stir it well. Ah! So it's step by step, oh baby, the chili is going to get really, really spicy. Okay guys, this is what I mean when you see the oil is leaving the pan. See? from a few more seconds you add a bit of water just a little bit now bring it to a full boil in high heat okay guys look it's really thick and I added one teaspoon of sugar to this all thick and yummy okay this can be a dish by itself you can serve it with rice uh, with uh, uh, chapati roti chanai you can have it a side dish and remember the earlier the salad you can put it to the side and enjoy it but what I use this also a base for yes it can be used as a sauce for my me goreng me goreng with hot dog, fish cake, and potatoes. Yes, it's going to be absolutely delicious. Let me show it once I've stirred everything. Okay, guys, now I've added the me to it and stirred it and added some cabbage, carrot, and I added another big spoon of this garlic, ginger, uh, onion mixture to it. And I'm, I'm going to stir and I also added a half cup of water because today I want the me goreng to be a little bit wet. You'll see it in a while. Okay guys. Ah. Uh, yes, I've squeezed in half a lemon juice and it's done! Me goreng with hot dog, fish ball, and what did I add? Potatoes! Cheers guys! Okay, now for the topping for the me goreng. Remember the egg, I've beaten up five eggs. You can hear me whisking them. And just add it in. And what I've added in is one teaspoon of the ginger garlic onion mixture and it's you all guys should try it guys it adds a totally different flavor to the egg and quickly whisk it okay you can just eat it as a dish or you can i mean i'm using it as a topping but let's say you just want to fry some eggs add some salt Add the ginger garlic mixture and you have a nice uh, filling for your bread, for your chapati wrap, or whatever. Let's do this guys. See, when you put the ginger and the garlic, it, it becomes soft. There's also water in it. Uh, I, I like it uh, to be uh, like the egg to be slightly burnt so I'll wait for a while and show you the final one yo yo guys look the mee goreng is done hot and spicy and this is how you serve it 
you serve it with the egg I showed you just now and with the salad and I have an exchange program uh, this is Nasilama uh, done by Satish mother-in-law and she has sent me and the mee goreng is going to his house isn't this great guys cheers don't forget to like subscribe uh, AJ connecting the world see you all soon in the next video love peace and hugs AJ connecting the world Mwah.